To learn, like, to find out about Tate. Yeah. I was like, because Joe's got that great story of uh, them tapping out that guy in the hotel in the room. Hotel fucking, in the hotel fucking the, lobby. Or, uh, yeah, in the lobby, in the hallway. In the hallway happened? by Gates Hotel. It's, I made him tell it last time I was on Rogan's podcast. Because I tell this story to people. Yeah, like, you know, too. like people me go, too. it's great. It's the greatest story. Uh, okay, I'll, let's, let's tell let's it together. All right. All right. So, uh, there's, first of all, there's this drunk fucking frat boy who's like 6'5", blonde hair, shirt it up, the, tatted up, one shirt of off in the bar. Show toughs. Just, yeah, one of, and just mad dogging motherfuckers at yeah. the bar. Yeah. Well, you think you're tough? Be like, no, man, I'm just trying to get a drink. I'm not trying to show you up at all. Like, yeah, stop, nobody cares. Nobody's in competition. Yeah, and so, and so to- Tate and Joe kind of notice him, but they're like, whatever. They don't give a fuck. So they get in their elevator. They go up to the room to go to bed. And I guess, does the guy get in the elevator with them, or is he just on the floor? I'm not sure exactly, but um, somehow he ends when up on Tate, the floor. Tate goes into his room, and the guy just starts banging on the Tate, door. Tate goes into his room. Joe's room's next to him, and the guy's trying to get into Joe's room. And, oh, okay. He's trying to get into Joe's room, and Joe's like, that's my room. And the guy looks at Joe, and he's like, fuck you, it's my room. And Joe's like, no, it's my room. And Joe oh, opens the no. door. He doesn't know that Tate and Joe have a joining room, so there's a door in between. Yeah. So Joe opens the door, shuts the door, and the guy goes, you don't shut the door on my fucking face, and starts banging on Joe's door. Oh, my so God. Jesus. Not knowing the fucking shitstorm he's walking into, <laughs> Joe just opens a connecting door, and he's like, I think we're out of a problem. <laughs> and so Tate goes out of his door. Joe comes out of his door, and the guy's like, you want to fucking go? His boys are there, too. Really? Oh, yeah, his boys are there. His yeah. boys are there. And Joe's like, yeah, well, actually, this is exactly what we trained yeah, for. Yeah, Joe's like, you should go home. <laughs> you should go home. This isn't going to end well for you. So by the time Tate fucking locked- At the time, Tate was a brown belt in jiu-jitsu weighing 200 and fucking 55 pounds yeah. of muscle. Jeez. And Massive. younger. Much yeah. younger, Massive. right? Massive. Yeah. Full of testosterone. Yeah, and he's been rolling since he was 17. So he was just coming off fucking heroin. Drugs, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Drugs, he's crystal ready. meth, all that good yeah. stuff. So I think the guy takes a swing at Tate. He ducks it, fucking rolls it, and gets the guy in... Uh, in pulls in, guard. Pulls guard on the guy. And then Rogan, he goes at that point, he goes, wait, Tate just pulled guard in a street <laughs> fight. <laughs> this he is gets when, the guy down, gets underhooks, and gets his legs around him in full guard. And this is when the hotel security shows up. And the hotel security comes up. Because hey, they're always, like, I, I was locked out of my hotel room in Vegas once. My friend put, we were staying together, and he put the top bolt on, so I couldn't use my key in there. And I'm, I'm like, fucking calling, and I'm sitting outside in the hallway. Security comes, like, sir, can we help you? I was like, what? How do you even know I'm here? They're watching all the time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So they see his shit. They go up the elevator. They go over there. And Joe, and Joe stops the guy. And in front of the guy's friends, Let- and while the guy is conscious, says, don't worry. He's a professional mixed martial artist. He's just going to put him to sleep. That At that, the <laughs> frat boy is like, what the fuck's about to happen? Yeah. And Tate at that point was like, oh, really? That's my shot? Okay. <laughs> and so Tate's like, man, time to practice. So he fucking <laughs> rolled around him, got his back. <laughs> Put him to sleep. Told his friends to get him out of here. <laughs> Jeez. Sleep in the hallway of the Venetian. I, I fantasize about that every time I walk down the street and someone walks by me. I go fucking like, fucking what was that movie? A Sherlock Holmes where he's like, shot to the elbow, punch to the face. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Rip out the eyes. I do that. Shove it up his ass. Oh, I always I, do that. How can I kill this guy? <laughs> yeah. I do it. I do it after I have a f- dream fight and then I lay in bed and I go, I'll tell you what I would have done. Yeah. And I just lay in bed and go, I would have fucking ducked back. Talk to the pump. Yeah. I think about if I see somebody in the subway uh, writing with a pencil or something, I just look at the pen. I'm like, I can grab your hand, jam in your neck. And then I start looking around like, who would be a hero? <laughs> <laughs> who else on this train would step up? I've got to be careful of them. I, you know, I was, yeah. <laughs> that's, my t- favorite, that's my favorite thing to do is what we just did. I, and that's what the thing we were talking about. I love telling stories that I'm not involved in, that I give credit to someone else, and I simply yeah. make the story better because I have no attachment to the truth. But like, that's not my story. You-